So I friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational videos. So here I am with the most demanded information about uh, for you that is I am getting lots of uh, lots of comment about the same. So here I am with the updated information about the expected marks versus percentile as you all know total number of a student that is going to appear for July attempt is surprisingly very less that is only 6,29,778. It was expected above 8 lakh or 9 lakh also but this time it is very low and surely it will have an effect on marks versus percentile and it will have an effect on everything. You can simply say that if the race is between 10 lakh a student and, and the same uh, is now being 6 lakh or 7 lakh a student so, uh, so it is completely different thing. So if, uh, so if you are thinking that there will be not so much effect then I would like to inform you there will be lots of effect and you can see my previous video that is it will have a use effect on percentile versus your category rank that is crl rank ews obc sc st pwd everything i have discussed in a previous video so please try to check that here i am to provide you the marks versus percentile data and the minimum minimum marks or percentile that you need to have for j advance that is to be eligible for j advance examination so if you're first to my channel please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will be getting all the update and i am working day and night for you so please try to support me as well and I will be thankful for that all the time. So please try to subscribe to my request to you. So let's get started with the video. So here's the information that is for 99.9 percentile. Your marks will be 215 to 225. And more importantly, you will be having the better percentile at less marks because just try to listen my word very carefully. That is, all those students who have who had got very good percentile in first attempt, they are not going to appear in uh, in the July attempt. That's why the number of uh, students who who have registered for second attempt is very less that is 6 lakh 29 thousand only among and them also some of some of the strength will not appear as you can as you can take the reference from previous attempt data that is that is there was around 8.5 lakh a strength who registered but only 7 lakh 70 thousand a strength appear for the exam so this time also you can expect 5.6 lakh or 5.7 lakh a strength will appear in the exam and, and there are lots of new strength and new means those are strength who have done, who have started the preparation after the board exams and so those students will not have lots of preparation as compared to other students so that's why the competition in this shape particularly will be low so you can get the better percentile at low marks also and once you get the better percentile you will be getting the best rank that i have already discussed in my previous video so hope you get my point so after considering everything i am providing you the information so for 99.8 210 to 215 marks will be required for 99.6 201 to 206 marks and 99.4 192 to 195 and it is the upper limit you can get the better percentile also at the same marks that i am considering that's why i'm providing you a range of marks because there will be different type of difficulty level in different shape of the exam so after considering that also i'm providing you the range of marks for a particular percentile so for 99 177 to 183 marks will be required and for 98 157 to 162 marks will be required and for 97 147 to 152 marks will be required and for 96 uh, 132 to 136 marks will be required and for 95 it is 120 to 124 marks will be required and one more time i would like to inform you i will be guiding you completely at a time of counseling process so uh, do the best in the examination and thereafter everything will be done by me or your, or your parents if they will have the right experience about the college and counseling process otherwise i am here to guide you completely there will be a nominal charge applicable but once you register it is 100 percent sure that you are you are going to get the admission in best possible college that is available for you this year with best possible branch as well because that is also important because once you leave the college after four years it is all about the branch so please try to subscribe this channel so that you will not miss any type of update and it is not only about J means J advance but for other entrance exam other counseling also you will get the information here so next if you talk about for 93 102 to 105 marks will be required for 90 81 to 85 for 85 64 to 67 and for 80 55 to 60 marks and for 75 49 to 52 marks and for 70 it is 42 to 45 and for 65 it is 38 to 41 marks will be required and for 60 it is 32 to 35 marks and for 50 it is 30 to 32 marks will be required and for 40 uh, your marks should be 18 to 21 as as number of strength will be low so you will be getting the better percentile at low marks also this is the main conclusion of this video and i have provided you the exact marks versus uh, percentile data so now, so I, now I would like to introduce the philo app where you can get the solution of all your question doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to j or neat or boards examination then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps that is first you have to download the philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the 
photo of your question and upload that in the app and after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the India's best educator In question, you want to say that the bulb power is how much bulb is 220 voltage operator right this battery voltage is 220 so this is a simple relation here अब अगर कोई आपको और डाउट है तो बताइए। So without wasting your time, download the Philo app. Link is available in the description box and use the code IEB001. You will get the 10% instant discount. Data. So now I will talk about the expected cut off marks and percentile that you need to have in order to be eligible for the advanced exams and for all the categories. So uh, here is the information that is for general candidate cut off percentile will remain same for all students who have appeared in phase, uh, phase one, phase two, but the marks requirement will be different. That is, and for those percentile, you need to have 68 to 73 marks. That is uh, that is quite low as compared to phase one. And for EWS, 64 to 66 percentile, and for that marks requirement will be 38 to 41. And for OBC, and 66 to 68 uh, percentile will be required, and for that 40 to 42. And for SC, 44 to 46 percentile, and for that marks requirement will be a uh, marks requirement will be 25 to 29. It is sorry for the mistake. It is 29, not 39. And for ST, it is 33 to 35 percentile, and marks requirement will be 15 to 18 marks only. And for PWD candidate, nothing to worry. I have already provided lots of information for you. Please try to go to this channel playlist. There, uh, there you will find the PWD information playlist and you will able to check lots of information there that is percentile versus category rank, that is PWD rank as well as the NIT got out, triple IT, GFK, everything I have discussed. So please try to go there. So this was the complete information about the marks versus percentile data for the July item that is updated information after the number of after the decrement in the number of students i have provided you the information and also i have provided you the minimum percentile and minimum marks in order to be eligible for the j advanced examination so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe this channel like this video so that other students will also able to reach this video and uh, once again i am requesting you please try to support me as well i am working day and night for you so please try to support i will be always there to provide you all the information up to your admission is done thanks